everyone. We're going to go ahead and do our seventh game of Jeopardy on the Nintendo Wii. And so far in just six games, get this, just six games, I've accumulated $1,188,803. Last couple of games I did real well with the help of Eugene, but unfortunately I don't have him here this time, so I have to do it on my own. Let's play. Welcome to Jeopardy, everyone. Easy difficulty. We are playing Jeopardy on the Nintendo Wii today, or this game anyway. This is Jeopardy! Today's contestants are... Adventures in the air, flowers, fish and ships, literature, everyday Italian, and meet the Robinsons. Adventures in the air, 200. Player one. Hitting a speed of about 800 miles per hour, Chuck Yeager broke this barrier in October of 1947. What is the sound barrier? Yes, player one. Use the Wii remote or press the corresponding... That's correct. Adventures in the air, 400. Player one. In 1907, Paul Cornu became the first man to fly freely in one of these horizontally rotored aircraft. What is a helicopter? Let's hear it, player one. Woo! Right. Let's go with Adventures in the Air for 600. Player one. August 1983 saw the first night launch of this reusable U.S. orbital vehicle. It's player one. I'm going to say what is the space shuttle. Adventures in the air, 800. You again, player one. Taking 16 hours in 1919, British aviators Alcock and Brown became the first to cross this large body of water non-stop. What is the Atlantic Ocean? Player one. Well, close to we'll close out Adventures in the air. You get to pick again. In 1909, Louis Blériot became the first person to fly in a plane over this between Great Britain and France. What is the English Channel? Okay, player one. That's correct. There we go, we're in the category. Everyday Italian, 200. Player one, back to you. Formaggio is this dairy product. What is player butter? One. Sunday. Oh. So 
Now we know it for sure. Anyone else want to hazard a guess on this? Let's hear it. Player two. We're looking for Tuesday. Yes. There you go. Please pick again. Player two. Flowers 200. Holding reserves through winter, these globular underground buds let flowers like Narcissus bloom early. Okay, player one. What are uh, globular underground buds? What are roots? Oh, no. That's incorrect. Any I'm other trying to slip here. Nah, I wish I had Eugene with me, but he's not on right now. Alright. It's player two. Bulbs, yeah. You. Correct. Oh well, I'll bounce back. We return to you, player Flowers two. Flowers for 400. This large group of flowering plants attract serious devotees like those who pay $10,000 for one Peruvian plant. Yes, player one. What are... What are roses? Oh. Dang it! Anyone else? I'm doing terrible. The correct response is orchids. Uh, 600. Select again. Flower 600. Oh, it's not my turn. This Mayflower of the Buttercup family has a C version, too. Okay, player one. What is an anemone? Yeah. There we go. Flowers 800. Choose again, player one. A bouquet of a dozen sink foils ought to have a total of this many petals. What is Player 60? One? Yeah, you got it. That's more like it. Flowers a thousand. You again, Player 1. El Vulgari is the oxide type of this common flower. Let's hear it, Player 1. What is a daisy? Yep. There we go. Fish and chips, 200. Player 1. The more a variety of this fish is sharp-toothed, and can be vicious if provoked. What's an eel? Yes, player one. Ah! Yes. Fish and chips for one. That the ability of the members of the family Exocetidae to get airborne earned them this two-word name. It's player one. What are flying fish? Yeah. That's right. Where Six, are please. For 600? Player one, back Kelly. On this man's first voyage, brothers Martin and Vicente Pinzon commanded the Nina and Pinta. Who is Christopher Columbus? Player one. Woo, that's it. You get to pick a small freshwater fish of the family Terraphylum are known by this heavenly name. What are angelfish? Okay, player one. Good. Player one. Built in 1816, the first private yacht to cross the Atlantic shared its name with the barge of this queen. What is uh, Elizabeth? Yes, Where's Elizabeth? Elizabeth? Oh. No. Oh. Sorry. Anyone else care to try to come up with a correct response? Let's hear it. Player two. Any other takers? It's player three. Correct. On the plus side again. Player three, back to you Meet for the next selection. In 1947, he shattered baseball's color line. Who is uh, Jackie Robinson? Player one. We return to you like a famous mister of song. It was the nickname of tap dancer Bill Robinson. It's player one. What is uh, Bojangles? Hi. Uh, Robinson six. You again, player one. This Motown legend co-wrote My Girl and Tears of a Clown. Who is Smokey Robinson? Let's hear it, player one. Right. Eight hundred. Select again. 
1951, he defeated Jake LaMotta to become middleweight boxing champ. Who is Sugar Ray Robinson? Okay, player one. That is correct. And we'll close it out. Please pick again. Emmanuel Goldenberg was the real name of the Robinson who used this first name on the stage. Yes, player one. What is... Edward? Good. Okay. 200 for the last category. You get to pick again. In chapter 52 of this novel, a boisterous crowd is gathering for Fagan's execution. What is Oliver Twist? Player one. Yeah! Oh, you're right. 400. Player one. 19th century author, known for writing about a venerable mansion with seven acutely peaked gables. Yes, player one. Uh, who is Nathaniel Hawthorne? Good. Uh, 600. Choose again. Player People one. from the past appear to a brother and sister in Rewards and Fairies by this author of The Jungle Book. Who is Rudyard Kipling? It's player one. Player one. Modern novels with biblical titles include Jane Hamilton's The Book of Ruth and Toni Morrison's Song of Him. Who is Solomon? Let's hear it, player one. Yeah! Right, you and now the last clip. And now the thousand dollar clip. Even Grendel would love Seamus Heaney's new translation of the Anglo-Saxon epic about this title geet. Who is Beowulf? Okay, player one. Yes. $1,817 at the end of the Jeopardy round. Player three is going first in the double Jeopardy round, which starts with this. Let's see what happens in double Jeopardy with these categories awaiting the players. Latin American history, from page to screen, famous Canadians, insects, the A's, and a nude awakening. Hey, it's still anyone's game at player three. You get to select first. The finest singers among species of this insect are the tree type, not the house or field type. What's a fly? Let's hear it, player one. Or cricket. All right, insects for 800, please. Player one. It reached Texas from Mexico around 1890 and spread into most cotton-growing areas of the United States. What is the bull weevil? Player one. You. Insects fall. Player one. Like 1990, 2007 was a year when these noisy insects famously swarmed the Midwest. What are uh, bumblebees? Okay, player one. Nope. Oh, poop. Anyone else want to hazard a guess? That's alright. It's okay. We'll make it feel bad. We're talking about cicadas. Cicadas, okay. Insects for 16. You again, player one. Stoneflies belong to the order Plecoptera, which means pleated this. Yes, player one. Uh, what is I? Oh, so Dang it. I'm not doing good. Anyone else? It's player two. Wing. That is correct. Cool. Wing. Alright, that's okay. We return to you, player two. Two common shorthorn species of this in North America are the lubber and eastern lubber. Let's hear it, player one. I'm going to say, what is the mantis? That's not it. No, I'm slipping. Anyone else care to try to come up with a correct response? Yes, player two. Grasshopper. Hey, you're right. Choose again. Player two. The A's for 400. A liquid under pressure released through a nozzle as a spray or foam. Okay, player one. What is aerosol? Oh, good. Uh, the A's for 800, please. 
Layer one, a recess or nook for something like a bookcase. Layer one. What is a, uh, what is an alcove? That's correct. Good. Okay, the A's for 1200. Select again. To suspend a legal proceeding. Suspend a legal proceeding. It's player one. What is adjourn? <laughs> yes. The A's for 16. Please pick again. From the Greek for slope, it's to adjust to a new set of conditions. Yes, player one. What is... What is, uh, acclimate? Acclimate? Yeah. Acclimate? Yeah. Acclimate, whatever. You get to pick again, player, and I'll hand it off to Kelly. In seismic data, the maximum displacement of a seismic wave during one oscillation, here, 23 millimeters, is referred to by this term. Okay, player one. What is, uh, what is... Amplitude. Yep. All right. Ran the category. Player one. Back Let's to have famous Canadians for 400. 1917 and 1918, Ontario's Billy Bishop claimed 72 aerial victories as an ace in this war. What is World War One? It's player one. Oh. That's right. Wait Let's on. have um, famous Canadians for eight. Player one. Toronto-born journalist Morley Safer began co-hosting this TV news magazine way back in 1970. What is 60 Minutes? Let's hear it, player one. Yeah. You got it. What's happening for these 12? Select again. Let's go to the Clue Crew for this next clue. This Mariner's 16th century explorations of the Gulf of St. Lawrence laid the basis for French claims to Canada. Who is Henry Hudson? Player one. Or let's say Jacques Cartier instead. Wow. That is correct. Okay, uh, I'll do the for 16. You get to pick again. Yeah, the double. All of it. Yeah. Answer. The first of the daily doubles. You are in first place. Would be. There is your clue. Co-discoverer of this pancreatic hormone, Ontario's Frederick Banting, won a 1923 Nobel Prize. What is insulin? Congratulations, you're still in first yeah. player one. Choose again, player. This Nova Scotia man founded a famous line of ships in 1838. Yes, player one. I'm going to say who is Samuel Cutter. Right. There we go. You again. Pay, player page one. Screen four, 69 three. years apart, Lillian Gish and Demi Moore got an A for effort for starring in films based on this classic novel. What is the Scarlet Letter? Okay, player one. Yeah. Right. Uh, four hundred or eight hundred, please. Page the screen. Player one. The film A and P is based on a story by this rabbit run author. Who wrote Rabbit Run? Player one. Uh, I'm going to say it was John Updike. Right. I'll take uh, twelve hundred, same category. Player one. In the daily double. Let's do it all again. <laughs> The second daily double, and you're in the lead now. Give us a wager. Play Answer one. this. Oh, Rochester, William Hurt was in the 1996 version of this oft filmed Bronte classic. What is. Jane Eyre? That puts you even further ahead. 16. We return to you. Play Marilyn one. Monroe longed to play Grushinka in the 1958 film of this Dostoevsky saga. But Maria Schell got the part. It's player one. So if it was 1958, it would have to be the Brothers Karamazov. Good. Yep. Uh, 2000, please. Player one. Pick again. Fitzgerald didn't finish this novel, so screenwriter Harold Pinter had to come up with an ending for the 1976 film. What is The Great Gatsby? Let's hear it, player one. Ooh. Oh, it's the other one. Anyone else want to hazard a no. guess on this? All right. That's okay. I'm not going to sweat over it. We're just going to proceed. Yes, player two. Well, that's type two. Yeah. I believe Tony Curtis was Please in that movie. Please pick again. Player two. New Awakening 400. In 1953, he produced the first issue of Playboy for $10,000. Who is Hugh Hefner? 
Okay, player one. Yeah, That's good. Good evening, eh? Player one. No buts about it. David Caruso, Jimmy Smits, and Dennis Franz all turned the other cheek on this cop show. What is NYPD Blue? Player one. Yeah. Would you like to call? Choose again. Player Kathleen one. Turner and Jerry Hall weren't close-minded playing Mrs. Her in the stage version of The Graduate. Who is Mrs. Robinson? It's player one. Yeah. Yep. Uh, let's have the awakening for 1600, please. You again, trying to escape his teen idol image, this Partridge Family star posed nude for Rolling Stone in 1972. Who's David Cassidy? Let's hear it, player one. You got it. Waking for 2000. Select again. His nude descending a staircase, number two, shocked viewers at the Armory show. Yes, player one. Who is... Show. Uh, I'm going to say who is uh, Marcel Duchamp. Correct. And now the last category, Latin American history. Player one. In 1565, Portuguese knight Estacio de Sá founded this Brazilian city on Guanabara Bay. What is Rio de Janeiro? Okay, player one. You get to pick again. By the 7th century, this civilization city of Tikal in the Yucatan had a population of tens of thousands. Tikal, okay. Let's hear it, player one. Who were the Maya? Uh, yeah, Maya. Yes. Uh, 1200. Player one. In 1541, Pedro de Valdivia, a soldier of this Inca conqueror, founded the city of Santiago in Chile. It's player one. Who is Cortez? Oh, no. Anyone else care to try to come up with a correct response? Here's what we were looking for. Francisco Pizarro. Oh, okay. Please right. pick again. In 1957, this physician and patron of voodoo was elected president of Haiti, which he ruled with an iron fist for 14 years. Player one? Uh, who is Francois Duvalier? <laughs> now let's take a look at that $2,000 clue, shall we? In December of 1980, a junta appointed Jose Napoleon Duarte president of this small Central American country. What is El Salvador? It's player one. Right. $86,068 at the end of Double Jeopardy. Only two of you will be going on to Final Jeopardy. Sorry, player three. So much depends on how you do in the Final Jeopardy category, which today is 19th century authors. Mm -hmm. You need to select your wager. Well, the game is well out of reach. So, I'll go for... Seventy-five thousand. Each direction on the plus control pad. Whether I'm right or wrong, I'm still going to win response. either way. Press a direction to select an answer. And the last clue. In 1833, a French historian said that this author had built a cathedral as solid as the foundations of the other one. I've given my answer. Did you come up with the correct response? You picked Victor Hugo. And that uh -huh. yep. correct response will add... 4,600, so you're now up to 10,400. What did you say? Victor Hugo. With yeah. that correct response, you will gain... 75,000, so I'm supposed to be at $161,068. Congratulations, Woo! You're the winner. Putting me at 1,249,871. We'll see you next time.